I thank the universal truth and the absolute laws of nature for guiding me, protecting me, and giving me the strength to endure the imperfect. I shall attack with vigor, making progressive moves. A divine mind knows, a divine mind shows all things work in divine order. All things work in divine order. All things work in divine order. Peace and power to the people to struggle. Salute, salute, salute. What's good with you? What's good with you? I hope everything with you is fine. I hope everything with you is right and exact. I hope you are embracing whatever struggle you are going through. Embrace the struggle. It makes you solid. Trust and believe. As you come on in, please, please, please let the rest of the tribe know that we are in the spot. Share, share, share. Let the tribe know we are in the spot. Also know that you are in a safe space. You are in a safe space space. Please know that you're in a safe space, that you are encouraged to use your intelligence. You are encouraged to question. You are encouraged to engage in the chat, to seek solution, because this is deep and it only gets deeper. We have to be engaged in this. So as you come on and salute yourselves, I salute you and it is not irony that as soon as I started this live, I see a citizen app where a 14-year-old boy has been shot in East New York. As soon as I started. So I hope that he has enough strength to pull through. I hope it isn't a fatality. You dig? Um, but this is continuous. This is happening in all communities, not just here, nationally and globally. You understand? So it's not ironic that I'm speaking on this today. As I do, and as I have been doing for the most part of, man, a dozen years already. I know what the grip of gun violence has had on our people. Trust and believe from every end. I participated in it. I've been a victim of it. I worked to heal and correct it. Trust and believe. I know what's going on with it. Um, I'm going to be very direct and literal in this bill. And I know it's in the middle of the day. And I know many people are still at work or leaving work. If you're on the West Coast, you're probably eating lunch. I know they done hit y'all. I know the first is tomorrow, so a lot of y'all got that little bit of paper. You running crazy, you know? So you might not catch this live. You might catch it on a replay, you know? I know what it is. I'm not foreign to it. I'm not wealthy. I know it's business that have to be uh, taken care of. You understand? So, man, I might come back tonight. I know I have a busy night. I have a lot of sessions uh, to get to. So I wanted to get this off before the day continues to run away from me. You know? I mean, I got a landlord too. And, and, you, and I'm telling you, every time the first come around, and I don't care how cool, how cordial we are, every first... I think, man, if I just pop them in the temple one time, will he ever ask for the rent again? I mean, really, can, let me, can I just have beef? If I just, mm, right, right in the temple, 
play around and, and, and give him a, 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 a snuff butt. Mm. Every first. And they don't bother me. And I don't bother them. And we're very cordial and we do a lot together. But I can't help it. On the first, I get tight just thinking about it. I'll be ready to see if he could take one straight up. And just dead him. Like, nah, you ain't. That's it. For as long as I'm here, you dead on that. And see what would happen. So I know what y'all doing. I know y'all going around doing y'all one, two thing. I know. I know. But I got to get this right. You dig what I'm saying? Um, we got to do it. We all got to do it. You dig? You know, it, 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 it. Who? Oh, somebody got the sniffles right now? Get better. I hope it's just allergies. You know? Let's get right to it. And just ride with me on this because there's a lot of different layers and elements to it, even though it is story or stories that we are having almost on a regular basis, that we are building up uh, a kind of, uh, so what attitude with it? Um, but it's, 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 it, it, it bothers me because I know it's so unnecessary. So, the first story is coming out of Houston, Texas. BTB Savage. Some may have heard of him. Some may have not. And as we said on previous shows and previous builds, Almost everybody is going to be labeled a rapper. Because we said that that was going to be the new N-word. And by labeling you that, uh, the broader press, white press, right, would, again, just as some of us display a nonchalant attitude when it comes to the loss of life of a N word or a rapper. And that's where we're at with it right now. So I particularly never heard of him um, really until I did the research after I started seeing the news, people sending it to me as is always appreciated. You know, people DM me and, and, and make me aware of certain issues in real time. All across the country, in real time, boom, they throw it right to me because they want to get some thing off their chest while we dialogue about it. They And many want solutions. And I'm telling you, the only solution to gun violence is to get in the mind of those individuals and prevent it before it even gets off. You understand? You have to get into the mind of the shooter. But when we become complacent in the attitudes and the behaviors of what people are deeming culture and what people are deeming blackness, there becomes a great amount of difficulty because people are in a space where they're believing that it is right for us to move and behave in a specific manner and to hold these attitudes. So this young man um, was a victim himself of an attempted... Uh, it's not even a pushing robbery. It was an attempted home invasion by individuals who, again, called themselves rappers and had him believing that they were coming in to record music. Long story short, they got up in his house. They bust a move on him. Tried to take him out of there. Him and the young woman he was with turned the tables on him and bodied this 
person. After a long struggle, bodied this individual. Now, after a traumatic experience like that, instead of sitting down somewhere and analyzing where he is in life, this young man decided to not only taunt whoever it was that invaded his home, he also gave an interview with the Euro. And when listening to the interview for research purposes, I wanted to see exactly where the Euro was going to go with it. And like I've always said in the past, you have right, you have wrong, you have what you would like something to be, and you have what it actually is. And everybody's always in the space, well, it shouldn't be like this, it shouldn't be like that. But it is. And I'm telling you from somebody who has been on the other side of this thing, everyone's mentality is very different. Everyone has a different value or no value when it comes to that. In the interview, I'm listening not to see what this young man is saying, but to where he's being led. What part that the Euro is emphasizing in the whole event. One, he tried to get him to tell exactly who these individuals were. Not forcefully, very subtly and slick. Well, do you know them? You know, as the you know, law enforcement got there, you know, what happened? A couple of times. But the youngin was at least that smart enough to say, nah, I didn't know these dudes. I never, I don't know them. I never knew them. Then it gets funny style for me because he goes into the part where people who do these things, who stick up, who rob, who run into people's homes should have the expectation that they might not make it out and kind of bragged about his own situation where it happened to him and he don't know how the dude survived. And he got the young man, BTB Savage, to start embellishing his feelings about what took place in his case where somebody lost their life making an attempt on his life. And I didn't like the tone of it. I didn't like the tone of it because again, the mind of somebody who uses that as a lifestyle is easily triggered. And in the mix of the story, the man who lost his life in his house, they weren't, he wasn't alone. There was others who were coming or who they used as the individuals to make music. So they know where the youngin live. They knew how to contact the youngin, right? But they got away. They didn't lose their life. Police never got on them. They was out. They were out. And in that, there's a real definite element of danger because somebody who went at you with that much force and that 
much bravado, not much will to take from you, they out in the mix. Instead of falling back, breaking out, getting off of the scene, he was a bit antagonizing. And it's never to victim shame, but it is to give clarity to the mindset that many people seem to be having. We see these cases every day in our regular average communities. There is a mentality of somebody who has that thing on them to do whatever needs to be done. This, well, the home invasion took place in San Antonio. He was murdered in Houston. See, the home invasion wasn't the other day. From what I'm understanding, it was a couple of weeks ago. But he got online once they removed uh, this deceased crook from his home and went in there and took pics, selfies, had somebody take picture of the crime scene, which was still very much the same as that night and made, you know, remarks, comments, like he's about that. When in all reality, he wasn't the one who actually shot this dude. The girl he was with did it. You understand? So in all reality, she laid, she saved his life. But as is, or as what has become customary for the image of these rap dudes to be bold, emboldened. You understand? To say, yeah, this is how I give it up. Yeah, this is what happens. And he allowed the Euro to pull him and push him up that sticky tree. Again, your language, the way you communicate, people listen to what you say, they look at your non-verbal communication, which is your body language, and that deceased person was somebody's loved one. That deceased person was with a click. Regardless of their, if they are into a negative and regressive lifestyle, yo, people love them. They got family members. They got a crew. And they're going in the wind. So by you sitting with this Euro, allowing him to guide a conversation and to put that out there in front of millions of people really do you no good. It didn't do him any good. And now he's been murdered in a drive-by. And they made sure of it because Yeah. So now we have another young man, another young black man growing up without their dad. Because, yeah, he had a kid who was actually in the house during the home invasion. Slept through the whole home invasion. So again, again, social media, 
clout, fronting, becoming a part of this very, very garbage-like era has caused another young man to lose his life unnecessarily, unnecessarily. Because everybody is not going to play with you. Fearless brand LTD, salute, salute. Salute for the green screen, much appreciated. I'm telling you, and this is the tone. I'm this is the, because when the industry, when law enforcement, right? When others outside of a lifestyle who really don't have no understanding of it starts talking, starts making comment, starts putting certain beliefs in the air about it, the members who do it, people who do it, are going to up their ante. So now, you know what? We don't even want to take from him. He just got to go. Because you agitate the ignorance. You understand? You agitate the ignorance. And I don't care about what it should be. It's not. We all should be able to walk the streets, especially in our own communities, amongst ourselves, without a care in the world. We should be able to do that. At one time, we did. It's not like that anymore. I went to kindergarten by myself on a city bus about a mile and a half away from the crib. You hear what I said? Kindergarten. From Pemberton Houses to Kanazi to Holy Family. Young Muslim boy going to Catholic school on a city bus. For Dolo, my daughter ain't start taking the train till she was 15. Okay? What you should be able to do is not always your reality. So again, you have dudes that do that for a living. You have individuals who believe that, excuse me, in order to survive, they have to take things of value and that is their lifestyle. Now, the only thing that you can do is respond to that. How do you respond to it? Well, you can have a don't care attitude and run around like Liberace. Okay, that could be your response to each his own. I choose not to. I choose not to. Why? Invite the bullshit. So you get away from it. Salute, salute, Thomas Shans. Much appreciated for the green screen. You, again, you can be the person that because of your beliefs and because of past trauma and, okay, yeah, Big Mo, run around like Liberace. You got people to do it. And, you know, for whatever reason, believe that it's not going to happen. I choose not to. 
I choose not to. Again, not only was he posting those picks, but previous picks, stacks of money up, up to the ear. You understand? Shines, flossing, doing all these things that is not necessary in order for you to be who you want to be in that business, in that industry. So they came for him. And he got away. He lived to see another day. Whatever was in the universe was with him that day. Because it could have changed. It could have flipped any millisecond. And he could have been a victim then. He survived it. But then you antagonize. The ignorance. And you paid the ultimate price. You paid the ultimate price. He allowed what has become the industry standard for ignorance. The Euro. Vlad TV is now the standard for ignorance in the culture. You allowed an interview and ignorant because you have no knowledge of our people. You have no knowledge of our behavior. You have no knowledge of our culture. So you are ignorant. He allowed ignorance to guide him into speaking rather triggering language to those who are still out there. And they seen him for it. It made no sense. So again, you allow the Euro to cause your demise. You know? But this is where we're at as a people. Our young people still are believing that their salvation is getting to the bag. And in order to get to it, they believe that part of that salvation is doing anything and everything to play games on the minds of the people utilizing social media. Because I know you're fronting. I know for a fact that 85 to 90% of people in the industry ain't about that action. It's evident. The proof is in the pudding. Because they are getting left. Left and right. Okay? And he did them real dusty. A lot of shell casing. So condolences to his family, condolences to his young son, but I don't know what it's going to take for people to stop going over and talking to that man. It is, it is beyond ignorant why are they still doing it. The second unfortunate fatality this week that we've seen is 26CJ. A previous affiliate of Kodak Black. I don't know if they still mess around or what, but this young man met his demise too. Now, it's sketchy on whether they pushed him and then burnt the car up or as a result of him getting hit, couldn't get out of a car that they set ablaze. Left the gas canister right there. Just, these are some of the most 
heinous ways to lose your life, but also somebody is determined to make sure that these individuals do not make it home with 10 fingers and 10 toes. This man's body was burned so bad in that vehicle that quickly. Yo, they call the state fire marshals and investigators in on that. Now, we could talk about spooky sacrifices, rituals, all we want. But we have to be clear, and this is in Florida. We already seen how Florida give it up. We seen what they did spring break in Miami. Those two videos that went viral, one of them, some was so determined, he didn't care who was around. Left this dude with young women and other young men running, scattering. He, he could have hit anybody took this dude out. So we know Florida's off the chain right now. So whatever these men are into, what is it going to take for you to just say, yo, you know what? Let me slow down. Let me, let me move over. Let me really take a look at my life and find my purpose because this might not be it. This might not be it. So I don't know if he was still in the industry, if he was still, or to what capacity he's in the industry. I never heard anything by him, right? I barely heard anything by Kodak Black. So I had to research that and really find out why he has an audience and a following as such. But I do. I understand him now. I understand it. I've watched him perform live uh, extensively. I done research. Yeah, he do. He do. I, I understand him. You, you take your time. And he is speaking for that demographic of this era, especially of his. He, he, he's not... He's not trash at all. Far from a Nas or a Paz the Noose and all, we can't judge him on that. But in this era, when you listen to him, I understand why they like him. I definitely understand why they like him. I get it. At first, I didn't. I wasn't even trying to give it any burn. But I, I listen. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I seen him perform. Now, all this other custy behavior he got, going back and forth, testing positive, in and out of the system, you know, rubbing up on mama bed, uh, grippers and all that. I, speechless. But I understand him. But I don't know if this C, this 26 CJ individual was making music. I don't know if he's an MC, a producer. I don't know anything about him, but I do know that he lost his life on some TV movie type shit. You know? It, it is, it, and we would not have known that. He would have just been an average uh, homicide on the news, but what is he? They're labeling him a rapper. You understand? So we're going to get all news about all rappers and their ignorance in order to further the agenda that we are people that is undeserving of any good attention or anything good. We don't deserve that. So that's two. And now... We get into Tennessee, Memphis, who's been having a rough few years. Always been wild, but the last couple of years, and especially 
the latter part of 2022 and into where we at now is off the hook. You understand? So again, same name is attached to somebody losing their life. Yo Gotti's Restaurant. Bringing the ruckus. Salute, salute. Much appreciated. Salute, Blizz and the tribe. We, we salute you back. We salute you back. Right? So, Young Gotti, a restaurant that's attached to him and the family, his owners. Right? Mass shooting. Darrell, what up, Javon? What's good? Mass shooting. So far, two people have lost their life. Seven people were injured. Gunfire. Gunfire. And when you see that video, it's like I can sit here and I can be as political and as analytical and as intellectual on par with most. But I would be doing a disservice to you all if I said I know exactly what's wrong with our people. I'm telling you, I'd be lying. I'd be lying. The way these people shot each other up and these two individuals lost their life. In front of a restaurant parking area. One of the videos showing somebody attempting CPR. It's like, yo, I'm telling you, none of that anger, none of that rage, none of that animosity, none of that callousness for our oppressors, none of that. But to do it, with such grave indifference, just, just, just do it to each other without batting an eye. I don't know what happened. I'm not in Memphis. I don't know. I wasn't at the restaurant. I don't know if this is old beef. I don't know if one of them is on Dolphin's side and one of them is rocking. I don't, we don't know none of that. Because we ain't out there. We're not from there. We don't know what that is. But when an argument, when a disagreement, it has to be something tied to that. Because for black men to mow each other down like that, if you don't know the individual, there's something sick going on up here that that couldn't have sparked that that couldn't have happened I'm telling you no one and I'm, and I'm going to be completely completely transparent here I let that thing go in the streets of the five boroughs more than a lot of people who got names and notoriety and all that other weirdness and long stories and memoirs. And all. I consistently let that thing go. With no argument. With not an ice grill. Nothing. It was like breathing to me. 
If I thought you needed it, you was getting it. Simple as that. Didn't have to know you. Nothing. If I felt a weird energy and I seen an out, you might have got it. That's how ignorant I moved. Straight up. That's just how ignorant I was. Because I was trained to do that. Like any other wild animal you train. The conditions that I grew up in, the individuals who I was around, we just didn't think about it. We didn't. I didn't think about it. You was out of here. That's how angry I was. That's how much rage I had in me. That I slept with these things in my waist. So I know what it's like. But I also know that it was off beat and that I had to change. Do you understand? Because in my miscalculation of somebody's thought of me and my off-centered belief in myself, I'm like, come on, man. Norm goes in your head. So now, I know that, nah, this person ain't my enemy. Just not. And I got control of my universal essence. I got control of my God, son. I got control of who I am. It said that the only one who should ever feel that rage is my enemies, my oppressors, those who are coming to harm my women and children and mean nothing but destruction for our communities. So I know what it's like. I've been there. When you see individuals, as we see at that, and what's the name of that, that restaurant? Is it Prive? Prave? Prive? I'm trying to figure this out. Because there was discussions. There was back and forth with these things out. Nobody had the rationality To, yo, hold on. And that's where we have to get to before it even start. See, they want to talk about reform, you know what I'm saying, and, and laws and all this other weirdness. It's too late. It's too late. Once people have them things in their hand, it's too late. Because it's a different type of energy. Once you got it on, if you let it go a few times, no, it's nothing like that. You got to be debriefed. Somebody has to get you up out of that. I don't care how square you are. Put one of them things in your waist. Go to the range a couple of times. And your whole demeanor is going to shift. Trust and believe that. I've done it on the street. I've done it in the army. Your demeanor shifts. Your energy shifts. There is nothing like walking armed. It's just not. Nothing like it. 
So you have to have the right frame of mind. You have to have the right frame of mind. So to give it or for people to have access to it who drink heavily, who get high, straight custies, who are mentally off because of the traumas of the conditions that they're living through. And then our people, we are who we are. We are who we are. Mentally shot. One percent of one percent of all our people may know who they are and have enough compassion and decency to at least excuse or pardon anyone who comes there in their direction with something that's not right and exact. Salute Eve Landing for the green screen. You know what I'm saying? You have to learn how to be humble. You have to learn to have a little bit of humility and you have to learn how to avoid the collisions. You have to because you don't always end up a winner. You don't always end up on the right side of it. So it got to a point where I no longer saw anyone and everyone as my enemy. I didn't. Because being somebody who was a predator, who can smell weakness, who can see when somebody can't move too well, right? You see the line, he sees, the, oh, oh, hold up. Damn, that, that cow over there limping. Got him. You understand? From being that man. That type of individual that could see somebody slipping, that could see in establishments, or always in a space where you are the spider. So anybody that comes to your web, unexpectedly, you on them, you have to begin to understand the self. Now, I'm the, one of the lucky ones who was able to recognize that and say, you know what? Nah, this is, this is over. This is over. But you have so many others who have no idea of who they are. And I'm not talking about as far as a melanated individual. I'm not talking about no history and blackness. I'm talking about People, individuals who do not know who they are, period. Don't know and realize and understand that they're a human being. They have no knowledge of that. They grow up in these conditions that these institutions placed in front of them and they're just gone. There is absolutely no language. There's no comprehension. And they are looking at these images. They are listening to these vibrations. And they believe that there is that they are justified in moving as such. And either you're going to respect that or not. Now, you cannot respect it. Okay. 
I respect it, which keeps me safe from it. I respect the power of the snitch. Oh, yeah, because powers, snitches have powers. The rat has power. I respect that. So I stay far, I stay far away from that. I respect the power of the ignorance. Because the ignorance is triggering. You understand? So people can walk around and act like they don't understand it. And so be it. So be it. But if you're smart, if you're intelligent, if you value life, you learn from the lessons of others. You learn from your previous experience. And if it's so traumatic that it has you in a space where you want to hurt and damage others, get help for it. Or if you learn from that experience and you're able to pass it on to others, right? In order to stop the ignorance, the unnecessary violence to continuously grow, then salute you. You understand? You can email me, Vanessa, otbeauty at yahoo.com. Moderators, give her the information. If she doesn't have IG, Facebook, all that. And I got to fix that IG that's on this YouTube uh, page. That is directing you to my old IG page and it's not there. You see two. Karim Bliss Johnson. Go to Karim Bliss Johnson on IG for anybody else who's watching this on a replay, on a playback. Right? Because people probably over there thinking that I'm ignoring them or not answering their DMs. That's the old one. I'll fix it. But again, this, this, this ignorance is, again, it's a belief. It's a belief. And our people are raised to believe in some things that are not factual. And they're not enhancing the quality of all of our lives. This death, this destruction that is so unnecessary because people are believing in fabricated information. Yo, it's traumatic just watching it all the time. We ain't even getting to the weekend yet. We did. This is the first evening of the weekend. So again, oh, and if you're wondering why I have Danny Brown picture back up there, it's because when I gave him the business for talking against New York City drill rap, people tried to come at me. And give him some type of praise for it. But now look at his custy, drunk ass admitting how wrong he was about a lot of things and checking into rehab. Because he need to get his shit together just like I say. But see how people look and believe because somebody has a little bit of fame, a little bit of notoriety. That they know what the hell they talking about. That they could, you know, give their sermons about shit. Yeah, Phillips, I'm saying the Citizen App just came through. A 14-year-old boy was shot in East New York. So as soon as I shut this down, I got to go out there and see what's going on. See if the other anti-gun violence... Uh, advocates is out there to try to, you know, service any uh, people going through trauma out there. You, you know, it's just, 
It doesn't stop. But as I always tell y'all, I embrace the struggle. You got to embrace the struggle. In order to keep working at it, you're only going to be able to sustain it by pushing back against it. So when ignorance shows its face, I... I have to speak out against ignorance. When you see dumb narratives come up and they flush it out there as a belief, you have to speak the counter narrative. Got to be engaged in it. I mean, I'm too far engaged in this to talk about bullshit. There's a solution to all of this. There's a purpose that we all have, we all are responsible for and to each other. If you don't know it by now and you keep believing that by yourself, that you're going to win, you're going to get through it, ain't going to happen. At some point, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer the truth of the ignorance. I'm not trying to be a victim of somebody else's truth. That is in actuality a harmful notion. These people got the notion to hurt because they're hurting themselves. So you got, I'm engaged in it. I'm engaged in it. I may wiggle and giggle and chuckle and chuckle here and there, but I'm always on task, always on go. There are people in the streets who will hurt you. There are people getting stabbed. There are people getting pushed in front of trains. There are people getting robbed for foolish. There's elders getting abused. Dudes is getting... Dude just got stabbed in East New York. Slash. Because he asked people to stop smoking reefer. First of all, what the hell are you doing talking to these people? When they smoking reefer. They smoking reefer. The shit is legal. Leave them alone. But he believed that he has some type of privilege. And he got stabbed. Young kids almost killed them. People have to understand. You ain't in this by yourself and you ain't gonna win it by yourself. Let's grow, let's talk, let's dialogue, let's put preventive measures in play to keep our asses safe from this. Because we can control this. We can't control what them yahoos is doing in Washington. We can't control it. You ain't got no control over none of that. You don't understand it. You don't sit in think tanks. You're not safe from none of it. If they poison the water, it's done. If they poison the fruit, it's done. If they got them using all type of machines and harps and all that, you ain't can't do nothing about it. But we can control how we respond in our own homes, in our own communities. You can control that. You can work that. I've seen it. I've done it. I've done it. Trust and believe. With committed brothers, we took a homicide rate down 60% in the first year that we was working the program. It can be done. You can change minds. You can give structure. But by yourself, talking about if you can't beat them, join them. I applaud you. See you. See you. But trust and believe, there's going to be a lot more BTB savages, just like it was PNB Rock, just like it was Nip. There's people who have ignorant mindset and people that are agitating that mindset by flossing, by glossing, by running around and allowing others to dictate what they say. Ain't no way that Euro should have got him and his feelings believing that he did something big when he left that dude in his house. And then you're going to post pictures about it, so... It is what it is. Again, I appreciate everybody from com for coming through. I appreciate 
all the green screens. I appreciate the super chats. Damn it, I appreciate you even coming through to listen to me. That's big for me. I appreciate my moderators and all the love. And, and, and understand, we will win. Don't believe in me. Believe in my belief in you. We will win. But you got to be serious. You have to get rid of inherited beliefs and look at what is actually taking place and making an attempt to respond to it differently. 10,000 subs is coming. I don't know. We, I'm struggling. I ain't get out of 8,000 yet. It never matter. I love y'all. I don't care if it was. Man, I was on here with what? 500,000. Just speaking, talking my talk. Because I'm telling you, work is refreshing. It's engaging to me. In order to make sure somebody's life has been saved. Somebody can feel good. Somebody has clarity about the shit that's going on around them. Yo, that's everything. Everything. So I appreciate y'all for even listening. I'm telling you. Because some people ain't got nobody listening to them. God damn it. Especially as old as I am, as funny looking as I am. Shit. Y'all looking at me? Y'all like me? Shit. I like y'all too. So salute. I'll be back. Because there's some other things I got to speak on later on. But I got some... Anger management sessions I got to get to and get through. You dig? All right. And I got to do another woman's up tonight. I believe it's tonight. You know? Because, yeah, we're going to talk about some things, uh, women. Yeah. All right? All right, Phillips. I hear that hot shit. I'm the only one. All right, then I better not catch none of y'all nowhere else then if I'm the only one making sense. God damn it. I see y'all asses over there with Tasha K and all them. Don't act like I don't be peeking. I'll be peeking. Looking at y'all like this. Oh, I see you. Mm -hmm. I see y'all. Let me catch y'all over there. Yeah. Yeah. You saying y'all don't tell me y'all like me. And y'all got your wine glasses with Tosh K and all of them and shit and sitting over there. I bet not catch none of y'all with the Euro. Y'all know me. I pulls up. How you doing? All at the job and shit. Like, uh, y'all, I'm telling you, I think, y'all see the, you see the Fordham coach came right through. I'm telling you, I'm accessible. I'll be coming through. Let me find out y'all over there drinking wine and shit, giggling and shit, sharing they stuff, and you ain't over here with me. I'm going to get highly pissed off. Turn to Miss. Straight up. Start running around. Snuff button, y'all. Keep playing with me. Keep it up. Slow. Don't laugh, Kelly. You giggling. You right across the you right there in Jersey. Yeah, Ma, I see them. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, yeah. Keep giggling. Yeah, Phillips giggling. Cause, cause Phillips be the main one. Wine glass and with touch. Let me catch y'all over there. I dare. Dare y'all. Be right at your door. Hello. Hello. Oh, a blizz. Ain't no old bitch. Mm -mm. Told your ass don't be over there looking at them people. 
Now get up. I'm telling you. They sure that come all the way to Texas to write just to snuff but you.